Hey, it's Randy with Randy's Repair. We're out here in Weir, Kansas, tanning a tractor. And I'd like to take this video just to show you how to tent large windows, the technique that I use, and also how to tent a window that's bigger than your roll. This window right here is about 60 inches. I've got a 40 inch roll. So I'm gonna have to put a seam in it somewhere around this area. So I'll show you my technique in doing that and also show you a good technique to heat form large windows. This works great for anything with a really big curve. Uh, so basically what I've done here is I put this up on the glass and drawn an H. We call this the H pattern. We, you wanna cut the middle line right in dead center. And basically what you're doing is you're splitting it up so you can heat form the top half and the bottom half without heating or shrinking too much in one area. So you draw, split it in the middle, and then you want to go down on both sides. Underneath here is dryer sheet also. The soap from a dryer sheet helps the tent not stick to the glass. So we put a layer of that on, and, uh, and then you wipe the area off with the, where the H is so it sticks to that. And you want to squeegee it out flat so it's completely flat. There's no resistance. It's not binding up anywhere. Right now it's just loosely, completely flat sitting on the glass and uh, we'll start heating it. I got it set to 840 degrees. That seems to be a good number for me. Doesn't really matter where you start either. Just got to start going. We're working small areas and just push them up. Get it heated up and watch it shrink up. And once you see it shrink up to the glass like you you kind of get used to seeing, you push it up and always keep it moving. And just go along this uh, where you drew the H pattern and divided it in, in two pieces in the center. And I've got the tent sitting on here with the adhesive side towards me, so whenever I flip it around, the adhesive will stick to the glass on the inside. And you want to make sure your these are feet called fingers. You want to make sure they're going up and down. These little spots where the tent's sticking up. Make sure they're vertical or the, the right way to where, to where you're heating. You can only heat form one direction, and you can't really describe how to what really that is. Thank <laughs> you. 
That's most of the way down. We'll come back and touch up the very end of it. Uh, you want to get it almost all the way to the edge, and I kind of leave it just the last little bit to heat foam after I trim it up. You want to make sure it's, the edge is not touching the, this rubber trim or, or touching anything for that matter. If you want it to, to stick to the glass and stick flat, you can't do that when it's touching the gasket. So I'm just going to go back to the other side here and work on the bottom half. Also, we're using Armalin 35% ceramic film. It shrinks really good. It's uh, the film that we've chosen to use. I really like it a lot. So, if you want to tint your own windows, go to armalin.com and get you some window tint. We'll hook you up. <coughs>
Also, my boy Brandon behind the camera's got some CBD oil I'd like you to try. It's really good stuff. Quality product. I'll put a link in the description and uh, get you some CBD oil. This doesn't matter because I'm going to cut it along this black. Get out. Now take your knife and trim the little excess off the top. And you can also trim off any, any place you might have heated too much. And cut it off and... and uh, Now go along the edge and fix any spots that they need heated. That looks like they'll be good. <laughs> Alright, stay tuned and we'll show you the splice on the bottom part. Alright, All now I'm going to show you the splice. We're, we already got it heat formed and flipped right to the inside. It's squeegeed onto the glass. I'm going to take a nice straight edge and I've got it overlapped. Um, just about an inch, and I'm going to cut through both at the same time to give it a nice clean seam. Okay, well, I will take these two pieces, get them out of here. You want to pull your uh, your second piece back without getting the other's tint. It's hard to describe. All right, we'll peel this back. I love to get some spray in there and pull out our cut piece. Try not to get any more dirt in there. All right. All right. I 
And there you have it, folks. Look at that seam nice and clean. And we even know it's there. This is an alternative to buying a 60 inch roll. Normally I would just buy the roll, but the farmer said it was it was fun with him. He didn't want to wait. So we got them fixed up. That's that, folks.